Hey guys, how's it going? Chacho here with a uh, quick video, more like an introduction, really. This is my latest project, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, basically how to take something that you buy from. I don't. You don't even have to buy it. Probably find something like this in the trash. This is a old Schwinn uh, road bike that's been converted to single speed, and. Uh, I'm gonna totally take it down to, you know, just the frame, sand it all up, paint it, and put her all back together. And uh, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do this, and I'm, I'm really excited to make this video. I, I didn't find this bike in the trash. I bought it from a friend of mine who got, who, he got me on the $20, so I bought this thing for 20 bucks. I bought some, some really cool, like, old sea breeze paint. She's gonna, this is gonna be really good. I'm so excited. The cranks are actually not half bad. It has some good, like, high flange track hubs. I, I think these Continental tires are okay. Um, it has these, uh, who makes these? Sake, road champion, you know, vintage style bars. This is probably like an old Latour or something like that or a world sport probably a world sport actually um you know she did have some shifters on there a while ago this chain is gonna a lot of this is just gonna go in the trash but there's not a lot of it really to uh to throw out um i hit it with this penetrating lube it's just a single penetration like um had in my shed there was some some double penetration lube in there but uh i always notice when, whenever i use the double penetration sometimes the nuts like the nuts touch so you know i just i think sing, single penetration is just better for me personally and i've been squirting her down uh you know she's a squirter so i just been going over it and letting that lube sink in like real deep and hopefully a lot of these rusted on bolter they are going to be okay. So, check out the cranks. Saguino. Sagino? Saguin. I don't know how to say it. But here, let's start. I'm going to start breaking her down. Enjoy the video. Start knocking down the high spots on this frame. 
2,000 years later. Okay guys, that came out really freaking good. It was so quick and easy, and it's basically down to bare metal. And uh, that was a million times easier than using the solvents. And from what I learned about painting over non-painted stuff, as long as you kind of hit it once with the sand, with the uh, sandpaper, with some good fine grit sandpaper and some heavy grit, you're gonna be just fine. It's not gonna be an issue. Uh, this frame is basically done. I just need to rub it down with some alcohol. And uh, let's do the uh, let's do the fork now. This is 60 grit here. Okay, and that's it. I took all the rust off of this fork and sanded it. It is like fully smooth on every surface. It's kind of funny that the where it rusted, it kind of like took the paint off already and then replaced it with rust, so the rusty areas were the easiest to, uh, to, to sand down or whatever. So now I'm just gonna wash this off, hit it with alcohol so it dries up real quick, get all the contaminants out of here, and then we can shoot it with some primer. Stay tuned. can't believe it. This was way quicker and way better than the trek that I did. I'm, I'm really excited for how good this came out. Um, maybe it's the paint. This was a satin paint um, and it had no gloss in it. Like it just has no gloss in it and I'm gonna hit it with gloss afterwards. So I think, I guess we're just gonna see how it comes out, but it's hard to tell with the, with the lighting. But yeah, time to put the decals on. I made some cool decals. Can you see it? I just made these on my little vinyl cutter. Um, this one's gonna be on, the one I just showed you is gonna be on the top too. And this one's gonna be on the down tube. Oh God, it's so windy. Very windy day. Just the same one, but a little bit bigger. Stick it on there and see how she looks.
the next day.